with the Tokyo Summer Games and it's been another busy day of action and some serious issues continuing with COVID spread among the Olympic athletes. So let's get right to it. I want to bring in 10 on your size. Mighty Lena Valores live in Tokyo. Lena, let's talk business first. OK, tell us about the outbreaks that have been affecting the games today. Yeah, unfortunately, Anita, COVID cases are going up here in Tokyo. More than 3,800 cases reported in the city. This is a new time high for Tokyo, higher than the previous average, which was set yesterday at about 3,100. So certainly a trend that we do not want to see right now. Now, within the Olympic bubble, there are 193 positive cases. So that includes athletes, staff, coaches, media, volunteers, anyone involved in the bubble and tested regularly. So not a huge portion of those cases that are out in the city, but it's certainly alarming to see those numbers climb. And we're hearing that, of course, it's impacting athletes. We've already heard of many athletes who aren't able to compete because of those positive test results. Now it is impacting pole vaulter Sam Kendricks on Team USA. The two-time reigning world champion in that event will not be able to compete because of that test result. His alternate is flying over here to Tokyo from Cleveland to take his place. The Australian track and field team had to be isolated because of his positive test result. They've been cleared. They'll be able to compete Pete, but really heartbreaking for Kendricks. He was a, really a medal contender, ready to go. Yeah, and of course, you've just waited five years for this. Okay, so track and field is getting ready to start. Talk about it. Anita, I know this is what you've been waiting for. I know how closely you watch the trial, so I, I'm sure you'll be glued to the TV with all of this. But yeah, a lot of good stuff starting. We have events starting today. Our first medal in track and field today, Tokyo time, is in the men's 10,000 meters. And of course, we have some of our local athletes running, which is going to be awesome. Michael Cherry competing in the 400 meter. That first preliminary for that is coming up on August 1st. And then on August 3rd, world champion Grant Holloway taking on the 110 meter hurdles, Chesapeake's own. I know we've done a lot of stories on him. Nathan Epstein has really shown a light on Grant's story and his life and everything he's worked for. So it's going to be so exciting to see him compete. He dominated in the trials. I think everyone is excited about track and field to get started. I know you are, Anita. I know oh, you are. You know I am. I'll be walking around trying to see it on my phone and on every kind of screen there is. Thank you so much, Lena. <laughs> and of course, tonight's a big night with gymnastics, too. You may have gotten a spoiler online, but you got to see it for yourself. A reminder also, join me and Lena at 730 for the Olympic Zone right before for NBC primetime coverage of the games. Don's forecast is next, so stay with us.